Here's a really fun way to create a choose your own adventure story using Google Slides. Before you begin a story, you need to brainstorm. Where is this story going to take place? Who are the main characters going to be? But don't choose too many, it gets confusing. And what is the main problem? And in an adventure story, the main person is usually looking for something to help solve their problem. Also, you're going to need three possible solutions to your problem. The first possible solution, possible solution, but something happens and it doesn't solve the problem. A second possible solution, something happens, it doesn't solve the problem. A third possible solution, which really does resolve your story. So now I want you to stop and write down those things on a piece of paper so you sort of have thought through your story a little bit. Now comes the fun part, creating your story. The setting. Your first slide, you want to describe the setting. Is your story in a castle, a haunted house, outer space, a forest, some particular country? Here's where you describe to your reader what the place looks like. In a land very far away, there was a castle on the top of a mountain. No one knew how long the castle had been there or even how it was built in such a strange spot. People believe that it was magic. Okay, that was just something I made up. You might go on to explain the color of the castle, the size of the castle, any important detail. Is there a hidden staircase? That always intrigued me as a kid. Next, the characters. Here's where you introduce the main characters and you tell the reader any important details about that character. Are they children? Is it a teenager? Is it an adult? Is there something the reader should know? For example, in the Cam Jansen books, Cam is called Cam because her mind works like a camera. She remembers small details. It's called a photographic memory. So I made up a king and a queen lived in the castle with their daughter, Princess Sylvia, and their son, Prince Cameron. And then I went on to describe the princess and the prince. Perhaps they're twins, perhaps they're brother and sister, perhaps they get along, perhaps they fight all the time. Only important details for your story. I didn't go into details of the king and the queen because they're not a huge part of my story. I'm focusing on the kids. And here's the fun part also, the problem. So every good story has a problem that needs to be solved. What are the characters looking for? Is there, here's where you describe what your characters need to do and give them their first choice. So for example, the prince and the princess approached the door. They were sure they heard a strange sound coming from behind it. And here are my three choices. Should they run away? Should they open the door? Should they stay and listen to see if they can identify it? So here's the Google Slides part. You need a slide for each of these solutions because somebody's going to be able to click on it and move to that solution without having to go in order. So I created three slides. I went to the plus sign, which creates a new slide. I called one, this one run away, so I remembered what my topic is. I called this one open the door, and I called this one stay and listen. So in order for someone to be able to click this and get to the right slide, I need to do something called hyperlink. So I hi highlight it. And then I'm going to right click. I go to the word link. Slides in this presentation. This is some, this will take you somewhere else. You don't need that. And I call this one run away. So I remember I click on it, apply. And this way, if I want to change the slide that says run away, the title, I can do that later on. Now I'm going to link this one to the next slide. I click, link, slides in this presentation, I slide down, open the door, apply. Slide now over here, right click. Think slides in this presentation. Now, this is my last slide right now. 
Okay, I seem to be having some trouble scrolling, so I have an idea. Because I know this is the last slide of my presentation anyways. I'll highlight it. Click. Link. Slides. Last slide. Apply. So now, when I click here, it's going to take me to that particular slide. So I'm going to show you. So I go to present. The reader, when they click on this, takes them to that slide. But they have no way of getting back. Hmm. And if they click on this slide, right away it goes to open the door. But again, they have no way of getting back if it's the wrong solution, except for the long way. And the same thing for the third one. So I need to fix that. Going back to my learning and my writing screen, for runaway, I'm going to highlight here. Oh, back. Highlight it. Again, I go to link. Slides in this presentation. And I want to go to where the problem is. Slide six. I spelled that wrong. Okay, I'll fix that. Go back. So now, let's see. Not sure where the spelling mistake is, but we'll figure it out later. Present. If I click on should they run away, it was the wrong solution. I can click go back and it takes me back here. So now what I would do is I would go to open the door. Okay, I'm not making up the story part. That's your job. Go back. And I would hyperlink this back. So link. Slides in this presentation. Let's see if I can find the one that says the problem. Go. The problem. Apply. And then the last one would be the solution in my case. So we'll just check it out one last time and then you are ready to try. So if I go to should they run away? No, go back. Should they open the door? No, go back. Should they stay and listen to see if they can identify it? And then this would take me to the end of the story. So that is how you create a choose your own adventure story using Google Slides. Have a ton of fun.